small company like Wit Enterprises, or it's a Walt Disney where you have this very unusual person that comes along one every hundred years, somebody like that, but is attracts like-minded people. But number one, they're uh, they're creative. They're completely fearless. The rhythm of Walt wants you to do something that's never been done, and it worked. A few months later, he got another idea, and another idea, and now you get into a rhythm of, God, that sounds so far out, but his batting average is pretty good. I think I'll say yes. You follow that? Now you have this rhythm of clust that goes along. It'll happen in any organization. Once that gets up to a critical mass, it sweeps in other people. And the ones that are, again, like-minded, they'll get swept right into the thing. And then pretty soon you have this this great big thing going around. It just marches right through history doing all kinds of stuff. All kinds of industries. They all do this stuff. Um, but then as, in the middle years, all organizations, they'll start with, uh, with an entrepreneur and enthusiasm. And then uh, when a company begins to get itself organized... As soon as it gets organized, it starts to die. It's just it's a strange thing. 1978, two, three, four, in that period of time, uh, aerospace was um, finally tapering off a little bit. And there were people who had great skills in the aerospace industry. They're all looking for a job at the same time that uh, Disney Company, now after Walt's passing, was looking to expand a lot more. Now you had this crazy thing that we have a thing called human resources. We don't just have Walt asking somebody. We have human resources. Oh, we have resumes. Oh, we have qualifications. And then you have all these people from aerospace. They think only aerospace. Now you have these two organizations beginning to uh, emerge about selection of people. You follow me? So in other words, it becomes more a vegetable-like than it is wild-ass-like. Um <laughs> And it was shifted. And then the company uh, has gone kind of up and down ever since. Because um, the nature see, the nature of work that you got, here, you don't have a standard sales line of widgets. You were only as good as the last big vendor that came along and said, we'll give you a few million dollars for your work. And then you think, well, why do we have the mountain of profit and we have the valley of deficit? And you do, and everybody generally goes out of business after every job you know if even if the vendor paid and you know, if uh, the owner paid and that and that's that never changes like that and i think over time the, the fact that people come and go and all these organizations these transitions still still go today and obviously um the theme park industry world right is really 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 big and uh, Disney, of course, is a, a, a super giant company. And as you can see by their creative campus out there in Glendale. Um, I think this trend will continue. And what it amounts to is, yep, you're going to have a kind of an overall organized vegetable business farm. But in there, you're going to have clusters of free thinkers. And the free thinkers will run around and have fun. And you're going to Imagineering today... And uh, you will see some of the places that look like your shop. In other words, funky stuff, personal stuff, dog pictures, cat pictures, on screen screensavers, all that kind of stuff. So there's always hope, but it, it kind of comes and goes uh, over the years. It's a, it's a very interesting thing.